More than 2,000 troops and over 100 aircraft from the U.S., Japan, and Australia are here for the annual multilateral military exercise. Captain Mark Larder of the Royal Australian Air Force is this year's task force commander. Exercise Cope North has always allowed us to uh, train together, um, align our techniques, our procedures, our practices, and that really is all about um, real life uh, preserving uh, peace in a particular region and also allowing us all to respond to a particular region's priorities. KUAM was invited to witness the training in action. We were flown to two different locations in the CNMI where the scenario involves staged humanitarian aid and disaster relief operations. These tents were set up as the command center here on the island of Tinian, known for purposes of this exercise as Baikira. Wing Commander Melissa Nielsen of the RAAF is in charge of the Baikiria camp, where they're coordinating the import of relief supplies and medical assistance to injured residents. We then hand that over through uh, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, through USAID and JICA who then make sure that the aid is delivered to the people of Baikira. So that's the general scenario that we have set up. We actually have a couple of medical scenarios in play at the moment. I think you just saw one of the gentlemen um, up the front. So the medical people are actually out and about at the moment dealing with those medical casualties. Okay, so we've arrived at our second destination, the island of Roto. For purposes of the exercise though, it's called Rua. And as you can see, it looks to be like a military hospital or a mass unit that's been set up out here right next to the airport. U.S. Air Force Major Brian Johnson is in charge of the camp on Rua. We have uh, behind us uh, two tents from the Expeditionary Medical Support System. So. The whole purpose of, of the tents are to make sure we can receive patients, uh, provide that resuscitated care, stabilize them, and then if they need higher uh, echelon of care, we move them out to the aeromedical evacuation system. The training is designed to prepare the troops for real-life situations, even a global coronavirus pandemic. We've been uh, in constant communication with our RAF uh, and our JASDEF counterparts on, uh, as well as our other foreign uh, military observers that are here, uh, what we can, uh, what's the best way to proceed uh, if it were to hit uh, the area. But I think we've got a good plan in place. Uh, and the, the most important thing is the communication has already been happening. So uh, we're well prepared. Reporting from Camps Baikiria and Rua, also known as Tinian and Rota, I'm Nestor Lacanto.